Hey everybody, Jason here with Alexandria Hunting Company again. Uh, today, uh, not working the bees, although it is a nice day, they're out flying. We have some uh, colder temps and a bunch of rain coming in tomorrow. Uh, so I'm gonna do some hive maintenance today and I thought I'd bring you along for this. Um, this is our original yellow hive. We bought this hive when we first started beekeeping uh, five plus years ago now. And uh, we bought it as a kit unassembled. I built it and we painted it this yellow color. Um, it's been in production every year since then. Um, and this year we decided to go ahead and take it offline here at the beginning of uh, spring, late fall or late uh, winter and give it a, a freshening up. So it needs to be scraped, uh, some scraping, some sanding, and then we'll take it in and we'll give it a fresh coat of paint and get it back out there uh, for production this year. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started with the sanding and the scraping and get everything prepped uh, for paint. All right, so we got everything uh, scraped. We got everything sanded. Uh, I just ran 120 grit sandpaper just to plow through some of the uh, years of wear on the boxes. Did a pretty good job. Like I said, these boxes are pushing five, six years old now uh, that they've been in service. Um, so they've been out in the elements now for uh, several years and they're getting tired, but I think with a good uh, round of maintenance and a fresh coat of paint, we can stretch them for a few more. Uh, so next step is I'm going to get these uh, set up in the garage and wipe down real good. Uh, I'm going to look them over and do some inspections, see if there's any uh, corners that need to be reinforced or any extra screws that I need to put in anywhere. And then once we're done with that, we'll get on to painting. So let's get back to work. All right, friends, here we are again, back at it, now in the uh, garage. Uh, so yesterday I had started this project outside, had a beautiful day, uh, low 60s, upper 50s, sunny, uh, bees were out doing their thing, and now we come to today, we have snow, some sleet, rain, uh, upper 20s, low 30s. So good day to be in the garage doing some uh, maintenance. So, um, I just finished up doing an inspection on all of the boxes and equipment that we uh, scraped and tinted yesterday. Um, the boxes themselves look really good. Wiped everything down twice with a tack cloth. Um, lid, um, I've taken this lid apart already, uh, I think two times, um, and reassembled. Um, so I just went and uh, kind of uh, tightened up the tin around the top. Um, it's pretty worn, uh, definitely. But I think with a fresh coat of paint, we'll get another, hopefully, couple seasons out of it. Uh, same as the bottom board. I uh, put a few screws in just to tighten up a few joints. Um, it's, it's pretty worn as well, but I think, again, uh, with a fresh coat of paint uh, and the tune-up here, I think we'll be able to get this uh, original yellow hive of ours uh, through a couple more seasons. So the next step uh, in this process is basically paint. I have everything sanded, scraped, uh, tack cloth down twice. I uh, cleaned up my area here, so next I'll be laying these out and uh, getting a fresh coat of yellow paint on them. Let's get back to work.
All right, friends, I think that's a wrap on this project. The old yellow hive is looking quite fresh with its new coat of paint and a little bit of a tune-up. I definitely think we'll get a couple more years of service out of it. Um, the only thing that I might uh, eventually do is um, pick up a new piece of tin and replace the top tin and try to wrap maybe a little further down the sides. But all in all, it's uh, turned out really well. And uh, I think, uh, like I said, I think uh, our original hive um, will be uh, will be back in service here shortly, hopefully for many more years to come. Uh, if we can hopefully dig up some old photos of when we first uh, got this hive in our first year of beekeeping, we'll try to put them in here. But otherwise, um, peeking out behind here is our next project. And it's something new to us. It's a new piece of, uh, of equipment that we have not used before. And uh, stay tuned for that. You're not going to want to miss. I'll have a video coming up all about that and getting it painted and ready. So until then, friends, stay tuned. If you like the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you real soon.